Hey guys, Bubba Ricks here with another video and this time I'm here to give you guys a tutorial of how to make a Lego Bucky minifigure from Avengers Infinity War. Now Lego has not made a Bucky minifigure, they have made one for Civil War, but the design of the suit is not very accurate to Infinity War unfortunately. So I have made a Bucky from Avengers Infinity War that I believe to be way more accurate. So without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. Now starting off with the legs, what I actually did for these was I took the legs from Tussu Leech and gave them to Bucky. As you can see, they're not dual molded, but they do have that brown printing on the top and that which this is kind of meant to be a little bit of kind of a rag that goes down, but they, for me it actually also works as boots with brown pants and then black boots at the bottom. So that's what I've done for him and if you look at it from face forward, it does look like brown pants with some boots at the bottom uh, and I really do like how that looks I think it's really accurate to Loki's dark brown pants that he does have in Avengers Infinity War with the black boots below so I really do like how those pants look and now let's move up to the body what I actually did for this torso is I took this torso from Rocket Raccoon from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 or Avengers Infinity War sets either one but you, it's actually not the front as you can see, but it is the back of it. So I went and flipped this torso around and gave him the back part. And as you can see right there, it's this exact same torso. It just adds some nice design. It has that navy blue color with some brown straps that come right there and that little belt area down there. And I really do like how this looks. And then all you really need to do is take these arms off and then flip and then put other arm different colored arms on the sides and different colored hands like flip them around as so and then you have it with that torso now what i actually did for the left arm is i took the arm that was available with the um captain america civil war sets bucky and gave it to this bucky as you can see uh, it does have the star, which is not accurate to Infinity War. But other than that, those nice lines and silver and everything. If that had a little bit of gold on there, that would be really accurate without the star. And LEGO actually is making a Bucky made figure. It looks like it's unconfirmed if it's officially coming out, but there were official images of it that were released. So I really do like how... Um, uh, or actually they weren't official they were leaked images but the pictures are legitimate pictures of uh, the thing it's not fan made or anything like that they're legitimate lego pieces and i really do like how that arm looks on there i think that it looks really nice and then for that hand it's just your standard darker gray hand i've got it from captain phasma from the force awakens sets or you can uh, get it from Captain Phasma from the Force Awakens sets. It's also available on many, many other figures. And now for the, uh, and now for the right arm, you can, that's just your standard navy blue arm. You can get on many figures such as Captain America, um, City main figures, Star Wars. Basically, any theme has many, many figures with that colored arm. And I just gave the little black love right there which you can get with Bucky from the Captain America Civil War sets and just stick it on there and I really do like how that hand looks he does have kind of a glove that he wears in they were uh, on his non-robot arm and I really do like how that glove looks on I think that it looks really nice and goes really nicely with the kind of black and blue uh, thing that he has going on and now what I actually did for the face was I actually took it from Qui-Gon Jinn from the Lego Star Wars sets. As you can see, I've taken the head off of Qui-Gon and given it to him. And I think that's fairly accurate. The only thing that is not too accurate is it does have uh, little patches of gray hair, which are not very accurate since Bucky is, doesn't really age. But I really do like how the beard looks. Other than that, it has some nice brown, a thicker beard than the one that he had in the Captain America sets, which is just a repurposed Star-Lord face. And I really do like how this face looks on I think that's really accurate and just has a really nice look. And then for the hair, most of you probably guess, it's just the same hair that Bucky does have in the Captain America Civil War sets. I just stuck it on there. I think it looks really nice and really good with it. 
Now for this gun, what I'm actually unsure where this gun came from. I just found it in my Lego collection. I'm like, that's a fairly accurate gun. So Bucky's in Infinity War, I gave it on him. So there you have it. There is my Bucky from Avengers Infinity War. I really do like how it looks. I think that it looks really accurate and is about the best you could do with the Lego pieces that lego has and i'm really happy with it turned out make sure to tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and feel free to give me any recommendations of figures you think i should make in the near future this is boba ricks i'll see you guys next time bye